George Tillis with us to look at Lattice Semiconductor. Uh, GT, as we talk about the chip space here, programmable uh, chip, low power semiconductor systems, connections to cloud, edge technology. I mean, definitely a company that's got its uh, hands in a lot of the cookie jars that are paying off right now. But how does it kind of fit into our larger conversation as it's been off its all time highs? Yeah. It has. I mean, if you look at the name, I think it's down about 15 or so percent in the in the past 52 weeks. And, um, you know, when you look at Lattice, you have to think about some of the larger competitors, which include AMD, which uh, bought Xilinx. And so Lattice essentially is, it's in the sem semiconductor uh, realm. It's field programmable semiconductors, which are used to integrate multiple systems across multiple in industry groups, like, for instance, industrial and automotive but also data center, cloud computing, uh, and automotive. And I think the automotive areas of the business have actually been um, been down considerably. Uh, and maybe that's why effectively, if you look at the earnings uh, estimates for uh, 2024, they're actually lower than 2023. So uh, I think that's where the, uh, the culprit lies for this particular name. But I mean, nonetheless, if you look at the earnings per share, they did uh, beat the estimates just by a penny on an adjusted basis, 45 cents versus the 44 cent estimate. But last year it was 49 cents for the same quarter. So that was down about 8% on an adjusted basis in terms of rate of change. Now, sales, uh, it looks like we're down uh, relative to the estimates. Uh, they actually missed uh, the estimates and sales were down in total by about 3% year over year because the, uh, the estimates were essentially for a slight increase in sales. I'm gonna call it break even. Uh, but nonetheless, they did miss. And in effect, if you look at the uh, numbers reported for the quarter, uh, 171, which was on the, the low end, that was essentially what they reported, which was a miss. They're guiding for Q1 also uh, at the midpoint, I saw 160 versus the 174. So essentially, they were already guiding for next quarter slightly lower sequentially quarter over quarter by 2 million but they missed it. And now they actually revised uh, guidance for sales next quarter down. Uh, so I think that's essentially why we're seeing some pressure yeah. under the uh, the stock name uh, in the after hours. And I will say that, you know, one of the challenges is, is that it looks like compared to last uh, year or 2023, the estimates for earnings uh, for 23 are over $2.01. It looks like they hit that number uh, based upon what they provided this quarter to sum up the year from a fiscal standpoint. But if you look at next year, the earnings are actually lower to $1.94. So it's uh, forward multiples actually higher than it's trailing for a company, which is you know quite profitable. It's just unfortunately uh, facing some headwinds in terms of profit growth. Now, that could be for various reasons. I suggest part of it has to do with the automotive sector. Ah. You know, it's like the, uh, boy, it's the sector that can be the real hang up in chips. Haven't we found that out? It's like, you know, everything is smooth basically in this entire category. But the closer you get to cars, the trickier it gets. I think competition to your point too. Well, I think so too, OJ. And I think, you know, I think EVs obviously are probably still going to continue to grow over time. I think the environment in the last year has been relatively challenging. So anytime you have some concentration risk to the EV space, you're going to face some challenges as a business. And I think that's where the, uh, the, re the earnings estimates, which have been revised down for Lattice, have been uh, attributed to. Um, so, you know, I can't say for sure, you know, if they have exposure to Tesla, for instance, or some of the EV manufacturers. But I do know that Toyota essentially has a lot of in-house technologies based upon them being the first or second behind Volkswagen in terms of total unit production. But I think the hybrid technologies have been steady, um, you know, in the past few years, whereas EVs have maybe fallen by the wayside. And so unfortunately, with the declining estimates on a forward basis, there already was pressure for the name. And the revised guidance lower, unfortunately, is, uh, is not necessarily a good thing. And that's why we're seeing some, some pressure on the stock in the after hours. Yeah, some pressure is a good way to put it. We're off six bucks, which is less than 10%. But it seems to me like this is one that might be at risk tomorrow of some deeper yeah. selling. I mean, they really missed that guidance. Not even really close. 130 to 150 million next quarter instead of the 174 estimate. I don't, I'm not sure how the stock is not 
uh, tanking right now. I mean, it's getting hit, sure, but uh, probably just a little light trading. It's not a super heavily traded aftermarket name. That's correct, LJ. And that's a great question, by the way, because we talk about a lot of stocks. I mean, I mean Snapchat was the most recent one where, you know, guidance was even a slight miss and the stock tanked, and it really comes down to profitability. And if you look at Lattice, you know, at least in the last four quarters, which we know that I just mentioned that the earnings uh, guidance for 2024 are lower than 23, but nonetheless, I mean, the company is, has got a 28% net income margin. So it's profitable. That, to me, provides support of the stock, and that's why, based on the guidance cut for next quarter, which is substantially lower than the estimate, we're not seeing a huge uh, decline in the double digits. It's certainly possible, so keep that in mind, but it's still a profitable company, but the problem is is profit growth, and that's where we're seeing some weakness. All right. Okay. Uh, good analysis, George. Nice look at the numbers. Definitely, I think, pinpoint why this thing's getting hit. Makes sense, uh, as it probably should be. <laughs> We'll see in the morning if it can hold up where it's at right now.